All right, you edited your video. You wanna put your video up on YouTube and you wanna create these awesome little chapter markers right here to make people's lives a little bit easier when they're watching your video, but you don't wanna go in and type all these out by hand. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to do it very, very simply and it's actually gonna be fun. Let's jump in. What's up everybody? This is Jason from EO7 Media and Night Owls Media and today I'm gonna to teach you how to export these little bad boys right here. These are markers on your timeline and you can export these for a multitude of different reasons including sending out to other editors, other crew that you're making a video with or like what I'm going to be showing you today, how you can export timeline markers into being your YouTube chapter markers so people can just jump to the chapters really really quick so we're going to dive into this and it's going to be a lot easier than you think and if you're having trouble with it i totally understand it took me about maybe two or three hours to actually like push this down and figure it out so today we're going to make it easy and let's jump in all right so the first thing you're going to do you can have all your chapter marks right there but make sure you go all the way to the very beginning of your video and put a chapter marker at zero, zero, all right? At the very beginning. YouTube and the algorithm we're about to show you has to have this zero, zero time code right here in order for this to work. Make sure you have your timeline engaged. Go up to File, go to Export, then click Markers. Now this little window is gonna appear. All right, you're gonna have three options here. What I'm gonna suggest you doing is choose the first one, the comma separated values. Your next is your destination location. So go ahead and pick a location where you absolutely know it's gonna be. I'm gonna choose my desktop just because it's nice and easy. And then your output file name. So I like to make sure that the name is the same name on here as it is on the video so I know exactly which file I'm working with. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. It does it that fast, successfully exports markers. Now, whether you're using Excel or OpenOffice, it's totally up to you, but it's going to create an Excel-like spreadsheet just like this. So the next thing you're gonna do is go down to the description below. You're gonna open up a link to a Google Drive that's on my Google Drive, and you're gonna open up this Google spreadsheet right here. Now I want to give a huge thanks to Jay Syntax Media for teaching me how to do this. This is a huge amount of help and it works really good and I'm using his formula here for you to copy as you will. So all you need to do here is go up to file here and you're going to make a copy and you can name it whatever you would like and you're going to save this to your folder on your own Google Drive or you can save it to I believe your computer as well but I love using Google Docs, it just makes it so much easier. Make a copy and then open that copy up on your Google Drive. So this is on my Google Drive right here. This is the one I'm going to be working on. What you're gonna do is open up your uh, Excel spreadsheet or your open office spreadsheet. So the next thing you're gonna do is come over to your Google Sheets. You're gonna highlight uh, A through F and then all the chapters and you're going to delete those. Come back over to your Excel all of these, copy them, go back up to the very first box here, paste, now it's gonna paste everything in, but you're gonna come down here to the second tab, you're gonna highlight and copy all of right here, and I'm hitting Control C, because I'm using a PC, go down to my YouTube page, under my table of contents, I'm going to hit Control V to post it in there, and boom, there we go. Uh, make sure you have your spellings correctly. <laughs> and now these are all my table of contents for my video, nice and easy. And before you go, quick little advert, make sure you check out our talk show, Coffee and Cameras. How fast should a business respond to an email? Well, 24 hours would be ideal, minimum. I've- Minimum? I'm, I'm just saying- Wait, minimum or maximum? Maximum. Did I say minimum? You maximum. said minimum. Oh, maximum. okay. Okay, max. Where my business partner Hilda and I sit down and talk about everything from videography, photography, digital, marketing, and business ownership in general. So I hope you guys enjoy this and have an amazing day. Remember to be better and do something awesome today.